So welcome back to the channel everyone You already know what time it is Been going crazy with the David Tao albums We got the next David Tao album titled Black Tangerine I'm just joking, I just tricked you mate We're really reacting to David Tao, I'm okay 1999, let's go So yeah, let's get straight into it Yeah, let's go Track number one, titled Doxology. Let's see what happens, let's go. I don't know, I don't know what to say about that. I'm gonna just say, do you know what? I'm not counting them. Sorry, mate. That one is pending, you know? I think you don't should vote. What did these weird noises get? That was basically like an organ from a church or something. I don't know, weird. Let's see what happens, track number two. <laughs> it's in a Chinese language, I can't pronounce it. So let's just get straight into it.
So that song, I'm going to count it as the first song of the album, even though that was track number two. I feel like it could have went a bit stronger. Maybe it's not my taste, but I did like that song. It was a good vibe, reminded me of happy vibes, summertime, all of that. All of that good stuff, you know? But I feel like this album, I'm okay. It's like a response to the last album where everyone thought he's sad, maybe. He's just like, listen, I'm okay. He's walking, he had a dream, he was walking in the desert. Then the rain started pouring over him. He's like, the heaven is raining, clouds are weeping, this and that. Crazy, I like the lyrics. Got a good meaning to it. It's basically explaining it like, basically saying don't listen to other people. They might say you're daydreaming, this and that. And yeah. I think he's talking about mental health because he's talking about trying to find himself, this and that. It's crazy, it's interesting, very interesting how these artists put their mindset into the song, you know. But yeah, what can I say? I feel like my personal preference is I just prefer the drums and the and the funky beat. This one was more like a classic guitar and he was vocalising a lot as well. The, I don't even want to do it, but he's vocalising a lot. It was nice and sweet. I liked it very much. But that song, I can't rate it too high because it didn't blow my mind. But either way, I'm going to give it a nice score. I'm gonna give it, let's just say 8.9. That's all right, it's not too bad. Unfortunately, I'm gonna count this as a song. So yeah, that's all we have time for today. Actually, no, no, I can't do that to you, so. It's okay, we've got one more reaction. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> Track number three, we have Small Town girl, I think that's what my lyrics are saying. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So I'm talking about.
that was crazy. Mm. Can I just say, I said, oh yeah, I like the songs with the drums. First thing I hear, it was nice. I like that production. I heard some funky noises, like wow. All of these like, do you know what it is? You can tell. So I read the comments, everyone saying he's from America. He was a police officer. He worked in the piano shop or the music shop, should I say. He's a crazy guy. You can hear the experience in his vocals and in the production. I don't know if he produced the music himself, but either way, you can hear the Americanized style, you know? It's different, it's nice. It's a fresh sound, you know? I never heard like a Chinese man or like such an American Western style, Elvis Presley style vibe, you know? I like it very much. So exciting. The lyrics as well. He was going crazy, my favorite. So the concept of the song, basically saying, oh yeah, I hope you remember all the memories we had, but this time, I'm not gonna be there. This is so sad, so crazy. So yeah, I like that he's got a lot of sad. I don't like that he's sad. Or I don't even know if he's sad. But either way, I like that his music is honest. That's fair. He's honest. He's not saying, oh yeah, da da da. He's basically being honest and he's expressing his feelings through the music. It's so nice. It's so sweet. It's genuine. And I like that very much. Crazy. But unfortunately... Oh wait, I didn't even rate it. What's going on? I'm going to give that one. I like that song very much. I'm going to say 9.4. Crazy. Yeah. Uh-huh. So yeah, I like that do 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 style like I like that when he vocalizes that do you know what it is? He always does it and it just it gets me every time. That makes the song so likable, you know? That's why I love this music. It's very nice, very sweet. So far so good. Unfortunately that's all we have time for today. But either way, videos dropping every day, what can I say? So yeah. Watch the be sure to like, subscribe, comment, anything you want. You don't even have to do none of that. Just as long as you're having fun, I'm happy, you know? So yeah, I'll see you. everyone at Billy Billy. Hello, if you're watching this, I don't know. Hello. So yeah, I'll see you next episode, mate.